Good morning and welcome back to Welsh Farms. It's March 14th, 2021. Things are finally starting to green up. The hay's looking good. Got some more clover. I'm out here at my my parents' place, and the clover is really starting to come in this year. We planted it back in 2019. Uh, didn't turn out. Uh, didn't come on real strong last year. So looking forward to this year. But one thing that I'm going to do different this year than I have in the past is I picked up some Prowl H2O. So going to get that sprayed. It's a pre-emergence uh, herbicide. So going to get that sprayed here and out at the blacks so there's the four acres out there so a couple pretty big changes here uh, for myself and my family in 2021 first thing is we moved out here to my parents so we are excited for this journey so it just made sense for us. We have our equipment out here. The hay is out here. We were making trips over here multiple times a week and it just it just made sense. Uh, we'd really like to have our our own big farm one day. You know, we'd like to have 80 to 100 acres. And uh, you know, just having the, the eight acres there uh, at our old place, it just didn't make sense to keep on uh, paying on that. So uh, thankful for my parents to let us move out here onto their property and uh, utilize the the buildings and the storage that are here. So uh, looking forward to, to this adventure. We got settled in just a, a couple months ago and uh, that would be one of the reasons why I uh, haven't been able to make much videos. <laughs> So, uh, appreciate you guys checking out this video, and let's see if we can't take care of some of these winter annuals and the uh, foxtail that we dealt with last year. One quart per acre. There's seven acres here. It's one of seven. Based on the chart, I'm actually going to do eight gallons per acre eight gallons of water mixture and one quart of this per acre. I have a 25 gallon tank sprayer. So that'll get me right at halfway and then we can come and do a second batch for the second half here. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to lower this spray bar down as far as it goes. You really want to be as close to 18 inches off the ground as possible uh, just to reduce the possibility of any uh, evaporation uh, or just this light breeze that we have carrying anything off. So we're going to lower this down and also with this prowl they recommend putting it on uh, before a rain. Um, obviously you don't want a torrential downpour, uh, but we do have a chance of rain tonight 
and I think we're supposed to get like a quarter inch or something like that. They really want this prow to be taken down into that uh, first layer of soil uh, in order for it to, to do its job. So that's what we're going to do. So, had that PVC pipe or little two by four or something usually in there on the right side of that tank because where the pump sucks, where the suction of the pump is, you really get down to about five gallons left in your tank, which I mean, it's 20% of your tank and this thing starts sucking air and I mean we're not driving on flat ground we're not driving on concrete here so uh, have to prop up that side in order to keep the the tank primed and uh, quit from adjusting the pressure so much whenever it loses prime like that the, the pressure goes haywire and it takes a second for it to be uh, get that prime back and then regulate the the pressure so do what you gotta do shoo that takes a long time with this little ATV sprayer, but uh, got it all done here at my parents. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna take this over to the Blacks and get that four acre sprayed. Thankfully, it's only gonna be one tank, so uh, we'll get that taken care of today and mark this off the list and see how it turns out this year. Chase, our new puppy. Say hello, YouTube. Mm -hmm. Training him to be a shed dog. We're on our way to the Blacks. Got the four wheeler sprayer is all ready to go. I thought this would be a good time to bring you guys up to speed on what is going on for 2021 at Welsh Farms. So, obviously, not only did we move and got a new puppy, <laughs> but there are also some field changes this year. So, obviously, since we moved, I won't be doing the three and a half acres there at my old house. Then, the four acres at the end of the road, the Shannons, uh, that is not going to happen. Was was hopeful that it was, but unfortunately me and the owner could not come together on that. So I am still going to be doing my parents, obviously. And then the big change for this year, like we talked about at the end of last year, is going to be Madden's. So where I had my wheat and beans last year. I actually am putting that in an alfalfa orchard grass mix. So 
that's going to be really big. I'm thinking right now I'm going to have to treat it as two, seven, or eight acre fields. I really don't see with the equipment that I have being able to get all 15 acres done in one day and definitely not being able to get all the hay up and under a roof or on a trailer and tarped I just I don't I don't see it happening so I figured it's better to just plan to treat it as two fields if we get a good enough window a uh, weather window you know everything can just be maybe a day off or two days off you know cut cut half of it one day and then the next day or the day after cut the second half so you know we'll see how that works out also we have a big factor in the weather uh, obviously I didn't get it fall planted with how late the beans came out so it's gonna be a spring plant so it all depends right now we've had we had a pretty nasty winter uh, as far as snow went actually we ended up getting good night probably two foot of snow uh, over the winter so it was really wet and sloppy and then a couple weeks ago it went dry on us and things dried up really nice and here it was first week of March and you know farmers were pushing to get out there and get their fields fertilized and get their wheat sprayed and you know things were warming up and drying up really nice and then uh, last week we ended up having uh, a couple pretty decent rains where we're just not able to get out in the fields with with the full-size equipment like we like we were able to two weeks ago so you know it all depends if it if it stays wet then I might not get spring planted when I want to and maybe only get one cutting but obviously my my hope is that we're able to get planted here in the next few weeks uh, hopefully it, it dries up nice and uh, we'll hopefully be able to get two cuttings off of Madden's this year so that's my hope uh, with that so last year I ended up doing 3,000 square bales uh, I'll probably make a video and go into a little bit more detail about that uh, about my yields and uh, now this year I'm looking to do probably 3,500 uh, you know it all, de all depends on if if I get two cuttings out of the Maddens or not so I I'd like to see 4,000 but it, it just <laughs> it's we're so dependent on the weather here in, in southern Illinois on uh, on how the the hay season is gonna go so that's just a that's just a part of it so this is my first video of 2021 got a couple couple big things to come uh, just to let you guys know uh, a little spoiler alert I did get rid of my two basket tether my frontier tether that I had and I did get a four basket so I'll make a video on that uh, reviewing that tether that we got and then uh, another big thing that's another video that's going to be coming is I got rid of my four wagons and I'm going to be getting a second trailer to replace them and I'm going to get a gooseneck this year so uh, that'll be happening in the next week or two probably more like two and hopefully you guys will see that video uh, maybe a week thereafter uh, I'm going to try and get back to to making these videos on a, on a weekly basis and I'm excited about about this year you know going with with two trailers having a four basket tether I mean we we got some changes and uh, things are happening uh, the farm is is growing uh, obviously last year we had uh, what was it four and a half three and a half 
and four, 11, and then the seven. We had 18 acres of hay last year. Uh, this year, we're gonna have 26. So, it's a pretty decent little little change there <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be pushing this this equipment that I have and as as I get more land obviously I'm going to have to continue to to grow uh, my equipment and become more efficient if I'm going to be able to uh, to be successful so uh, appreciate all you guys tuning in uh, we're almost here to the blacks and we're going to get this sprayed up and see how this turns out here in a couple months when these uh inner annual winter annuals uh when these winter annuals should be coming up out of the ground Alright guys, that's a wrap. We got the black sprayed. Got my parents sprayed. Like I said, we'll see how it turns out. Stay tuned. Uh, like I said, gonna have several videos coming up. Uh, obviously with getting that trailer, I'm gonna need a gooseneck hitch in my truck. So I just picked up a B&W hitch for that. So I'm gonna do an install video on that. Obviously I'm gonna make a video of when we go and pick up the trailer, give you guys a little review of it and it's gonna take a little while to get there uh gotta drive two hours uh over to uh, southern missouri to get it and then like i said uh got that four basket tether so gonna do a little review on that so uh appreciate you guys tuning in thanks for watching and god bless